Joining me is Dr. Jack Taunton, a renowned sports medicine doctor. He's a former chief medical officer of the 2010 Olympics, founder of the Vancouver Sunrun, and founder of the Vancouver Marathon. Dr. Taunton has also an impressive running resume, which he has run 62 marathons and has done 30 of them under 230. Welcome, Dr. Taunton. It's Jack. Uh, yes. Thank yes. you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm so used to calling you, but Dr. Taunton, so how are you? <laughs> how oh, are you, Jack? Not too bad. Not, not too bad. I've been uh, struggling with this uh, migrating bone infection. But uh, anyways, I'm out every day, uh, two and a half, three hours on my poles. I've lost control of my right leg, but um, uh, I'm out there every day. That's really and uh, this leads into... Uh, with the coronavirus, everybody's wanting to know, can we exercise? And the answer is definitely yes. And um, why? And the why is because aerobic exercise stimulates your immune system. And, uh, and we want that to occur. If you do become exposed to uh, coronavirus, which is... Uh, Unfortunately, uh, numbers are uh, increasing. Mm -hmm. uh, the, and, and if you look at what are the most significant factors in terms of leveling out and, and reducing the uh, incidence of uh, coronavirus, um, social distancing is up at the top of the list. Don't travel as another one, and as we all should know, um, hand washing frequently. Mm -hmm. And so in terms of exercise, that social distance is two meters. And whether that be, and the best activities are aerobic, so that could be walking, or like with me, pole walking, it could be cross-country skiing, mm -hmm. it could be cycling, uh, certainly uh, running and um, could be uh, a single kayaker uh, or a single uh, rower, scholar. Mm -hmm. uh, but the important thing is that two meter uh, distance between you and your walking mate or you know your running um, you know mate. Um, you uh, want to ensure that. There is no contact, uh, you as the athlete, um, no contact with your face, your mouth, your nose or mm -hmm. eyes, uh, which is very, very important. Some individuals are, uh, when they exercise, cycling or walking or running, tend to spit a lot, and that uh, mm -hmm. is uh, definitely contraindicated. Uh, we've got to really distance yourself from somebody that, you know, that does that or avoid that, uh, you know, individual. Um, uh, but cycling is, is fine. Uh, having gloves on probably gives you that much more uh, protection. Um, and the other one that other individuals that may not be into a, a, a regular you know, fitness program, but would be golf. Mm. Golf, you're, you're, uh, it's a good distance apart. Uh, you're outside, and where all of these, you'll notice, Christine, these are all exercises outdoors. Mm -hmm. uh, because if you're exercising in a gym, uh, you're too close together, uh, too, uh, it's too, uh, confined, uh, there's too much chance of, uh, you know, hand contact uh, with the person that's on the exercise bike or uh, treadmill or whatever, you know, beside, uh, you know, beside you. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and this is really important for those that have some chronic infection, like myself right now with this chronic uh, bone infection, or the individual's diabetic. Uh, we need to, these individuals have impaired immune systems, so they need to be exercising. And it's really critical. Uh, if you never did it before, now it's really mm. important to be doing that. Yes. The other areas of concern 
when we talk travel, but it's uh, now I can't drive. So I have to spend more time on buses and more time on the Canada line where everybody's jammed together. Well, mm. I've got to avoid that. Yes. And, um, and the other thing, um, so many people walk with their dogs. Very nice. But dogs transmit coronavirus. So if you're with your dog, uh, you want to make sure your dog has so many people, they like to kiss the dog or have the dog lick them in the face. Uh, don't. Oh. It, 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 it has too much, you, you know, uh, potential for, for risks. And uh, the, the vets may argue, well, some dogs uh, are more likely to get involved with coronavirus. I'm just saying, let's just keep it simple. Dogs potentially can transmit it, so no face licking with your friendly dog. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, but the simple ones, a good walk um, uh, with a social distance of about two meters uh, in your group. Um, uh, downhill skiing is, uh, is good, but the trouble with downhill skiing as compared to cross-country skiing. Cross-country skiing, you get out of your car and you can basically go off. You don't have to go and uh, uh, get clumped together to get your ticket uh, or clumped together to get on the ski lift. And so skiing, uh, you get certainly protection, you know, from the face shield that many skiers ski with and gloves. Mm -hmm. But the big problem with uh, skiing and, and, and now uh, it's getting more harder to find a, you know a ski resort that's not closed but cross-country skiing and uh, snowshoeing are you know are, are, are certainly uh, good activities but again uh, you've got to stay away from uh, groups where, where you don't have the opportunity to uh, uh, have that distance of two meters uh, between yourself and uh, an, another individual. And, and, and I know that uh, my wife has just come back from, uh, went in early, so she didn't, there wasn't the mobs for shopping. Mm -hmm. But there are too many people that are uh, behind you in the checkout line, and they're right behind you. Uh, that you've got to uh, nicely just turn around and, rem and remind them about the importance and it's critical importance in terms of social distancing. Mm. And that occurs in a, you know, in a restaurant, and I know more restaurants are closing, but uh, restaurants, they have to spread the chairs out. And if you go into a restaurant or a pub and you find that you're going to be right up against somebody, talk to the owner, talk to your server, look. And by now they should understand the term social distance, but if not, just say, look with this virus, we need space, mm. and uh, so that we're not uh, on top of each other. But uh, exercise outdoors is important, and the most important thing, besides all of the other cardiovascular benefits um, and benefits to prevent, uh, you know, and reduce the chance for cancer, and um, but it's the importance of regular exercise stimulating your immune system to deal with this nasty virus which um, has such a high contagious rate. Yes. And so you want your immune system uh, at its best. Yes. And what about doing some gym workouts like in, in your home? Would that be? Well, you could do that for mm -hmm. sure. Okay. You know, so if I just had a, a note from a friend of mine as I, I told him, I said, you know, be safe, uh, follow uh, precautions and um, exercise and, uh, you know, improve your immune function. And he came back and he said, Jack, uh, and this fellow is a, you know, a hardcore cyclist. He says, I have just moved my gym into the garage. And that's where my gym is. I've got an exercise bike there and I've got some free weights. And so uh, that is uh, that is fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, working out or is really good for your mental health too because... Oh, yes. it's, yeah, it's critical. Yeah, and it's critical for 
because people get depressed during this period of time, they get anxious, and, uh, you know, in, in terms of, uh, we just opened our chronic brain uh, disorder gym, I was lucky enough to get a, from a dear, dear friend a million dollars, and we just mm -hmm. opened this uh, along with Don McKenzie's cancer gym out of UBC and the Alma Gavin Sportsman's, uh, you know, center. And, and this is for Parkinson's, MS, Alzheimer's, mood disorders, depression, anxiety, and individuals that have got ongoing chronic symptoms from concussion. And what is the basis of this program? Exercise, mm. mindfulness, and music. Oh, that's wonderful. And all, and all of those improve brain function. We're going to have to talk about that uh, again for you to come back, um, Jack. You know, I, I so appreciate, you know, speaking, you know, about um, what we can do to exercise, where we can go. But it has to be two meters, right? Again, at least two right. meters. Okay. Yeah. And that can be maybe hard to do when the maybe the parks or trails are very busy. <laughs> so maybe do it in the morning or in the evening or when there's... Yeah, or go on the seawall. Yes. Where, you hopefully can you know can gain that uh, distance, but as you say, um, uh, that uh, narrow trails are you'll have to look for you know certainly for wider trails. And mm -hmm. I know like Peter Butler has just stopped, although he's, he's encouraging everybody to exercise you know on their own. But for his run uh, classes that he's very well known for. Um, that uh, they've had, to, they've cancelled them and just encouraged, gave it, it's given everybody training workouts. And uh, if you are going to train with somebody, make sure you got that that social distancing. Yes. A and uh, the the top three again, not traveling, mm -hmm. no flights, um, social distancing. And hand washing are the three most important things. And for us, uh, and I would add equally as important, is regular aerobic exercise to stimulate your immune system, to prepare you for that inadvertent exposure. Because at times you will, um, you may just walk into an area that somebody has just walked through and, uh, that um, uh, that your immune system is uh, must be um, on top. Mm -hmm. It must be in, in good shape. And, and exercise is one of the best ways of improving it. And don't touch your face. Right? Don't <laughs> just do not. Yeah. Yes. And for some, some people, um, and, and we got our young grand, granddaughter, and she constantly is sort of sucking her thumb. Uh, she's got gloves on now all the time. Mm -hmm. no, and uh, so many people have sort of, a, you know, they're, they're thinking, so they touch their nose or they touch their face, uh, and uh, that is a risk factor. Yes, thank you. And washing your hands regularly, especially if you inadvertently did that, uh, went and touched your nose and your eyes. Mm. So. Thank you, Dr. Jack Taunton. I really appreciate your time, and um, and we'll, we'll we'll speak again. So we uh, will. We yes, will for sure. So st stay healthy, everybody. Exercise, yeah. get that immune system, and remember that social distance, two meters. Thank you.